In the previous video, I created a 3D model within Houdini, set up some lighting and materials to make a scene that we can add an object into our scene, and rendered this to disk. In this final video in this series, I will go back into Resolve and use Fusion to composite the rendered scene into our original footage. Alright, now that the rendering has finished, we can come back into Resolve and combine them together. First thing we need to do is import the footage itself, which will be under Houdini Render Single Clip. Do a quick check here of the clip attributes, make sure it's still coming in as 24 frames per second, so it should match up. I could combine this within Resolve or within Fusion. Let's go ahead and do it within Fusion, because typically you would want to deal with multiple layers and usually will have more complexity than you would have just from importing it. So, a little trick here. I've renamed this track to Tracking. I'm going to create a new Fusion composition here, which will duplicate everything. But now we're under one called Composition 2, which we can rename to um, Compositing and we can then delete all of these things. It's, it's nice to keep these separate so that the compositing information is kept simple and just has what we do for compositing. So the way this works, and I restarted DaVinci, so for some reason I have to select the managed LUT again. If we go into the media poll, we pull in our rendered clip, This shows up as another media in node. And to start with, let's just do a merge. With the new video source as the foreground image. And if we take a look at it, the tracking looks okay initially, but we definitely need to do some color correction. First of all, this is linear. Actually, it looks, you know, it does look like it's not expecting it to be linear. Let's see if we can fix that here. If I just set this to one of the linear. I'm not sure which one would be linear. Oh, that's because this is color space, not gamma. Let's just leave that at auto. So this is obviously not working. So if we just pick something like sRGB, yeah, that's the wrong direction. So we'll just return this to audio. And we'll just throw in a color corrector. Set the gamma to... Theoretically 2.4, but that looks a little overexposed, so maybe right around 2. And one thing we'll notice is at the top of the image, I caught the edge of something. I'm guessing this is the edge of the, the ground plane. I can go back and look later. To fix this, the easiest way is actually just to mask off see how far down it comes. Our image never goes above about a third of the frame. So if we just come over here, let's just draw a little polygon here. Just apply that as the mask of the merge. And 
that should get rid of that weirdly colored thing. So at this point, we can view this video, but we'll need to wait for it to cache it. So I'll just skip that. All right, we can then go full screen and play this back to get an idea. Now the footage is a little bit noisy. It also looks like it's a little bit above the ground, but overall not too bad of a track. Would want to render this with better parameters, probably make the light a little bit sharper. It doesn't match very well. But overall, I think this turned out reasonably well given the poor quality of my initial footage. I hope this tutorial has been useful. Feel free to leave any feedback in the comments, and let me know if you have any ideas for other videos I should make.